All right, um, hey YouTube. Um, I figured since today is May 1st, it's officially May, um, I would come on here and make a video because today does start my official countdown um, through the week. I, la I leave next week, May 8th. Um, I check into the hotel for MEPS um, Monday night and I go to MEPS and swear in and, and ship out Tuesday, like Tuesday afternoon-ish. So I figured I'd come through, um, give a little bit of updates uh, as far as my hair, um, little changes I made here and there, uh, etc. All right, so first off, my hair. I did decide finally, I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video. What is this cat doing? Baby! Sorry, my cat is doing something. Okay, whatever. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned in my previous video that I didn't know what I was going to do with my hair. I wanted to get box braids. I wasn't sure. I was going through so much crap. Couldn't find anybody to do it. And finally, I found someone to do it. So, aside from this part, it is box braids. They're actually smaller than I wanted, but I love how they came out. Um, they were dipped on the ends. Um, they are extensions if you don't realize that. Um, they're dipped on the ends. They're super, super lightweight. Like, I love it. Um, I've already tried to put it in a bun because, you know, for um, BMT, you do have to wear your hair in, in a sock bun. So I've already tried to put it in a bun. It goes perfectly. Um, no problems. I just got it done probably three, four days ago. So it's holding up pretty nicely. Um, this has to last. So, yeah. So that's what I decided to do with my hair. I think it was the the uh, smartest decision I decided to do. Um, if it doesn't last, like it starts to look rough um, through the, the months, I'll just take it out and, and wear my hair, but at least I'll have something protecting my hair, like the, at least the first month, you know? So, um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do for my hair. You guys know I'm natural, so you know my hair is natural underneath. Um, I'll still be trying to do as much care for it as I can um, with the time that I do get and stuff like that at um, basic training. So speaking of that, I'm going to show you some of the products that um, I am going to bring. Um, I think also in my other video I mentioned um, there was a lot of products that I wanted to bring that didn't come in travel size. And so I was going to do checked luggage and just have my bag be checked. Um, I decided not to do that. I'm actually going to do carry-on. I was told we can't have checked luggage. Um, some people say you can, some people say you can't. So I just decided to do carry on only because I don't want to go through the hassle of my bag coming up missing. I rather just have it and you know, I'm good to go. So you're supposed to have, um, a quart size Ziploc bag that your products fit nicely and that they like lay flat in. Um, and they should all be 3.4 ounces or less. So that's what I have here. Um, specific specifically for my hair, I got um, these little, what are they, um, what do they call these things? Organics, the sulfate-free nourishing coconut milk conditioner. And they actually come in three um, ounces, three ounce bottles. Um, I got them at Ulta. So I got two conditioners. I'm not really concerned about... Um, about shampoo I can use any shampoo once I get there um, you know a cheap little shampoo but I was really concerned with conditioner um, so this is a conditioner that I like it's white in color so it won't um, I won't get in any trouble as far as inspections um, I'll get more into that later um, and then I also found the organics uh, Moroccan argan oil and this comes in 1.7 ounces so this is perfect so that I can oil my scalp um, after you know I wash it. Luckily, I don't have to wash my hair, you know, as often. Um, I'll probably like co-wash it if anything, you know, probably once every week or two weeks or whatever. But I'll make sure I keep my scalp oiled. So that's that. Um, a lot of people, if you're already familiar with basic training and the packing list, you know that they suggest you bring a flip top toothpaste and. It's damn near impossible to find a flip-top toothpaste, 
So what a girl suggested in my um, May group on Facebook is to take the flip top from a full size toothpaste and screw it onto, uh, what do you call this? The travel size toothpaste. So I found, you know, a regular travel size and I happen to already have a flip top um, full size at home and they just screw onto each other like nothing. And it's a flip top, so. Um, I completely forgot these tops even existed. I had gotten the one that stands up and it's a flip top. So um, this works out better. So when I get there, if anything, um, I'll just, you know, once this runs out, unscrew it, buy a new full size one and screw this top on. So that's what I'll do with that. Um, as far as Eco Styler Gel, I had highly recommended that in my last video. Um, it does come in travel size. Uh, if you go on the website, it does definitely come in travel size. I don't know if you're able to order it online, but um, I do know for a fact it does come in travel size. Uh, and they can tell you that you can go get it like at your local whatever, whatever store. But unfortunately, we don't have any or I haven't found any at any of my local beauty supply stores or Walgreens, Walmart, Target, CVS, anything like that. So what I did um, pick up instead was the Tresemme's, um, what is this? All Day Hold Extra Firm Control Gel. It is clear, travel size. And the main reason I got it is because it is alcohol free. I read that somewhere. Watch me not be able to find it now. I don't know. I read that it was alcohol free. Uh, or maybe I just read the ingredients and didn't see any alcohol, so yeah. So whatever. So I decided to get this. I won't really be using it for the first couple of months. The only thing I'll be using it for is to keep like my edges um, intact and smooth down. Um, but yeah, so I guess this is an alternative to the Eco Styler. But if you do have the Eco Styler gel um, in your local stores that come in travel size, then I would suggest get that instead. Um, and then everything else in this bag is nothing, it's lotion. Um, another thing I would suggest, but I don't know if it would fly, is what I was going to do before I found these shampoos and conditioners. You can buy little travel size um, containers at like Target or Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, whatever. And these particular ones that I got, I found them at Target and they came with little labels. So you can put the label on you know, whatever container so that you know what it is. So this one I had conditioner in and this one I have shampoo in. I'm not taking these with me, however, because I have gotten mixed messages about um, uh, once you get to BMT, them not letting you take them because they're unmarked containers or they're not like, you know, like an actual brand. Um, so I'm not taking them, but... Uh, it is always a good idea. You will get through the airport with these, TCA. They will let you through, um, but I'm not taking them. And my conditioner, the one that I do like, does come in travel size. So if you don't have the um, organics in your area, then I would suggest the Herbal Essence. Uh, what is it? Hello Hydration. I love this one. This is the one that I was using. This is the one that I was going to plan on taking, but I'm not taking it. So that's that. What else? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, I guess, regarding the military or or not regarding the military because I don't know about all the other branches, but regarding the Air Force process and how to get into it, how to look into it, questions that I may be able to answer, I don't know, feel free to ask me in the comments below or message me. Oh, another place that... Because I, as you can tell, I haven't been through basic training or anything, um, so I won't have all the answers for you. I can only provide answers um, up until this point that I've been through. But um, I'm going to write down a couple links on the bottom that you can check out as far as um, information. The main link that I'm going to put is Aim High Erin, her blog. She's amazing. Um, so you can definitely check her out. And then um, I'm going to put, I think it's too cool for school or that cool dude from school. I don't know. I'm going to put his link to his YouTube channel on the bottom as well because 
He's really helpful, um, especially for the questions I couldn't answer about guys. He can help you. And then as far as girls, Aaron can help you. Um, if you're already um, in basic training, not in basic training, if you're already in the process of enlisting, I can recommend you to a couple Facebook groups um, like Air Force Wing Moms. Even though it's a wing mom group, it's not only for moms. It's very, very, very helpful, extremely informative information on it. So I'm going to put that in the, in the description below. Um, what else? Uh, if you haven't found, if you are in DEP, in your DEP program, D-E-P, um, already, and you haven't uh, found your, your group on Facebook, I highly suggest finding the group um, that you go to on Facebook. Like for me, since I'm leaving in May, I'm part of the May group. Um, super helpful, super wonderful. Um, everybody on that page is super supportive. Um, they know what you're going through. They know the ups and downs that you're going to be feeling, the sadness, the happiness. They have just as many questions as you do. Everything. So I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, I can't wait to see some of those people once I do ship out for the people that are leaving, you know, with me and everything. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, my friend just shipped out. To, oh, she's shipping out today, actually. Um, she's the first set of May girls or May group that's leaving. Um, Amy. So good luck, Amy. Good luck, Cassidy, who is who is the um, the leader, I guess, of our May group. Good luck, everybody else who left and who's leaving today. Um, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> And I think that's it. I'm already on like 12 minutes. I don't even know if this is going to upload. Okay, so bye guys.